Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to Data Dispatch. I just wanted to take a moment to say thank you guys so much for watching any of the videos in 2023, following and really becoming part of the family here. Thank you guys so much for watching as we've really been breaking down specific AI stocks and particularly looking at Palantir Technologies right now, which we're gonna be talking about in this video because it's at a critical support level. And next year is going to be very interesting for the stock. We're also gonna be talking about many other different types of AI stocks, even index funds, anything you guys wanna talk about or if you have ideas, please leave feedback, drop it down in the comments, and we're going to try to continue to grow into the next year. So before we get started, hit that like button, subscribe for daily videos. And of course, I'm not a financial advisor. I'm just collecting all the data and dispatching it to you. Now, what we do have with Palantir Technologies is a little bit of a correction here, as we saw with the global markets all coming down and cooling off a little bit. This is ahead of possibly, I think, Wall Street not getting too far ahead of itself before 2024 begins and saying that a soft land may not bring the gains you expect. Now, before we all get up in arms about this headline right here, let's talk about this and how economic growth could be looking into 2024. But before we get too far, specifically looking here at Palantir Technologies, is at a very critical support level at about the 17s right here. It failed at 1745 support, as I think we kind of saw a little bit of uncertainty for what next year could bring. And like I said, Wall Street not getting too far ahead of itself. You see Palantir testing this level of support right Right at about the 17s. The reason why this is critical is because the last time Palantir hit the 17s was before Q3 earnings. And with that Q3 earnings report, we had that explosion from the 1450s all the way up to 17 right here. The last time we saw those metrics and basically testing these support levels was back here in October before Q3 earnings were released. So if Palantir fails this support level coming into next year, we could see a lot of testing in between these areas. And Palantir does like to consolidate basically between the 13s and the 16s. That's where we've seen it most comfortable in recent trading past. Now, with that being said, Palantir trading volume at about 38 million. You don't have a ton of options volatility happening today. And I think that's because a lot of people might be getting into the New Year's night, might not have been a lot of activity today in terms of actual options trading. But talking about this and expanding on getting back to the subject here, a soft landing for 2024. Now, Wall Street is mostly convinced that the Fed will reach its goal of a soft landing. And this means that this will be lower economic growth, but but no recession, which is good, leading to these interest rates cuts in 2024. And we've already seen the Fed that has elaborated on this by basically saying that they're going to keep rates steady, and then there are going to be some cuts likely going to be happening in 2024 and continuing on into 2025. In that environment, you have a lot of analysts and top analysts right here that are predicting that the S&P will basically seem to fall in the range of about to eight to 9% gains, a little under the index historical average of about 10%. However, what we do have here and this expert that basically kind of continues is saying among other trends that AI is widely considered to remain a key investing theme into 2024. And this is important specifically for Palantir because right now on the Zacks ranking website, Palantir is basically one of the most searched for stocks lately. Palantir has gained a lot of trendiness and year to date really exploded and gained a lot of traction as we've seen Zacks even change their ranking multiple multiple times and finalizing the end of the year with year here with Palantir at number one, a strong buy. And what they specifically are looking at are those earnings per share revisions, which we've seen nine bullish revisions in the last 90 days. Now, although earnings aren't really expected to come out until February, what we're sitting at right now for analysts is at eight cents per share. This would indicate a 100% year over year gain a quarter ago, and the Zacks consensus estimate has remained unchanged over the last 30 days. Now, this is great that Zacks has not changed their rank, and specifically looking here at the bullish case for Palantir is that their customer relationships are continuing to expand as they work to help grow their businesses with existing clients clients over time. We've seen this here as the average revenue for the top 20 customers during the trailing 12 months actually is up about 13% from an average of 43.6 million from the prevailing year. Also, what's important about Palantir is not just their governmental contracts, but the expansion that we've talked about in multiple videos of their AIP bootcamp. And with that being said, you have an increase in the commercial customer count, which also brings an increase to the commercial revenue and 
brings their general revenue up in terms of clients coming to the table and testing the data analytics software through the AIP bootcamp. Remember that possible clients can do this for completely free. And talking about that and in general for the AI stocks, like I said, S&P's predicted about an eight to nine percent gain for next year, but a big look on a bullish year for 2024. And this is coming from Webush right here, basically predicting that the bullish tech analysts declare that a bullish 2024 year of AI awaits with cloud and AI driven spending forecasts to be up over 20 to 25 percent with use cases now exploding across the enterprise and consumer landscape. And with that, as previous notes have stated, a lot of these analysts are viewing AI as the most transformative and disruptive technology trend since the start of the internet in 1995, and believe many of the streets are still underestimating the one trillion of AI spending basically predicted to happen over the next decade. So what we do see in terms of a global macroeconomic perspective are lots of analysts and investors, retail and institutional, I think investors included, are going to continue with their bullish approach for AI stocks going into 2024. With Palantir being on the leading edge in a leading competitor, showing what they've proved, and now even with their fourth quarter of GAM profitability, you have the question of the S&P 500 inclusion into next year. Palantir is going to be, I think, on the forefront of the AI edge. Now, with that, there is some uncertainty and, of course, speculation that does come come with that. And that's specifically looking at the bear case for Palantir. And one of the biggest bear cases that we've seen for Palantir that I think we need to take with a grain of salt is the high valuation that we have for Palantir and the explosion that we've had. Yes, it still ranks as the number one strong buy according to the Zacks.com research. But what we are seeing is the actual price to earnings ratio right now is at 290. And comparing to other large tech stocks, blue chip st um, tech stocks like Alphabet trades at a price to earnings ratio of 27 times. So what Molly Fool here is talking about, while bulls might be happy for paying up for Palantir stock and paying for a high premium, this does come with a catalyst that there, if there are any large changes in either regulation, if there's any large changes in the global economic efforts for AI and specifically looking at the AI race, we could see large fluctuations in terms of volatility. And what you will have are many competitors that will be coming to the table realizing how much market share is going to be going into the AI industry. And with that, Palantir is going to stay, have to stay ahead of the game. It already has. It's done a great job proving this track record. However, being a leading competitor, it's going to have to continue to shine an example on how an AI company can be run in terms of not just its valuation, but also in terms of its earnings reports, specifically looking at its business metrics, looking at its financial reports. How is it going to do in terms of profitability with that S&P 500 inclusion? growing into its valuation, which is the biggest criticism right now, and continue to see a growth in its actual revenue growth rate is important because that's the second biggest criticism is a deceleration in that revenue growth rate. I think a Palantir can stay in front of the race here, continue to shine, and if the AI industry, and we see these AI stocks, continue to get a lot of market share that floods into them behind these businesses, people taking a bullish bet on this new disruptive technology, I think Palantir can be set up for a great 2024. But with all the things we mentioned, there is a speculation with that. So of course, be ready for any type of correction. And with that, Palantir, like I said, sitting at that really critical level of support right now, it'll be interesting to see what the beginning of the year brings for us. So a lot to tune in for. We have a lot coming for next year. Take care, peace out, and I'll catch you guys later.